Well, welcome to Tika. Tika, へようこそ。<laughs> so today is a special day for two reasons. え、今日は特別な日曜日なんですが、理由が二つあります。First, it's Family Sunday. 一つ目はファミリーサンデーだからです。すごい。<laughs> And second, today is the day of Pentecost. で、二つ目はえペンテコステの日だからです。So, Pentecost is a Jewish feast. ペンテコステはユダヤ教のお祭りです。It celebrates the wheat harvest. 小麦の収穫をお祝いします。But it also celebrates Israel's experience of meeting God at Mount Sinai. また、イスラエルがシナイ山,シナイ山で神様に出会った経験をお祝いする日でもあります。For Christians, it has further importance. でも、クリスチャンにとってはさらに重要な意味があるんです。On Pentecost, God empowered the church with His Holy Spirit. ペンテコステには神様が聖霊を与えてくださり、教会を強めてくださったのです。Acts chapter 2, 1 through 4 says this. 使徒行伝2章1節から4節ではこのように言っています。Okay, kids, you're on. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw, that, and they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that se- separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them was and were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled. ひとつところに集まっていったすると突然天から激しいか背が吹いているような響きが起こり彼らの一体全体に響き渡ったまた炎のような別れ、足したが現れて、一人一人の上にとどまった。すると、みなせいれいに満たされ、みたまが離せてと、おりに、たこけの言葉、Well done. That was really hard. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> so, right after this, the first Christians began to preach the gospel boldly. Tika is a Pentecostal church. So we believe God still pours out His Spirit. ですから私たちは神様が今もなお聖霊を御霊を注いでくださることを信じています。私たちは神様の御心のままに人々は今も威厳を語ることを信じています。私たちは神様が聖霊を与えてくださるのは救いを述べ伝える力を与えてくださるためだと信じています。では、救いとは何でしょう I'm glad you asked. 聞いてくれてありがとうございます。This brings us back to Exodus. そのことを知るために今日も出エジプト記を見ていきます。Remember, Exodus is all about the pattern of salvation. 皆さんも覚えている通り、エジプト記は救いのパターンについて書かれています
We have been looking at this for six months. Can you believe it? 約6ヶ月間このことを見てきました。信じられますか But today is our last Sunday in Exodus. でも今日はエジプト記の最後の日曜日です。We're going to end by talking about the tabernacle. 幕屋について話すことで終わります。The tabernacle was, you know, a kind of tent. 幕屋はテントのようなものです。So, of course, I brought my tent with me so that you could visualize the tabernacle. もちろん幕屋はどんなものかわかるように私のテントを持ってきました。You like my tent, kids? いいですか子供たち好きですか It's pretty cool. So, can any of you kids tell me the purpose of a tent? あじゃあ子供たちの中でテントの目的を教えてくれる人いますかテントを何のために使いますか you know, Brevin? To protect you from anything? すべてのものから守るため、wow. すごいです、ね。I had no idea. <笑> anything? You're right. You're right. I feel safe in here. あ本当に、えー、安全に感じます。It's basically a portable place to live. 簡単に言うとテントは移動式の住まいです。But the tabernacle wasn't for camping. でも幕屋はキャンプのためではありませんでした。And it wasn't a place for people to live. また、幕屋は人が住むためのものでもありませんでした。It was a place for God to live. そこ幕屋は神様が住まわれるところでした。The tabernacle is about The presence of God. 幕屋は神様の臨在を示す場所でした。And it teaches us three truths about God's presence. そのことは神様の臨在ということについて3つの真実を教えます。Are you ready for the first one? 1つ目、皆さん準備はいいですか ?You don't sound ready.Are you ready for the first one? いきますよ。That's more like it.Here it is. いきます。Truth one, God's presence is the point. 真実一、神の臨在こそがポイントです。God didn't rescue Israel from slavery, you know, just for fun. 神様は面白半分でイスラエルを奴隷から救ったのではありません。He didn't do it because he felt sorry for them. 神様がイスラエルを救ったのはただかわいそうだと思ってやったのではありません。From the beginning, God promised He would live Among his people. はじめから神様は神の民の中に住まわれることを約束されていました。He promised they would know him. 神様は神の民が神を知るようになることを約束していました。And the tent fulfills that promise. そしてですから、天幕はこの約束が成就することなのです。In fact, one third of Exodus explains precisely how to build the tent. 実際出エジプト記の3分の1は天幕の建て方について説明しています。Wonder, uh,皆さんはなぜ天幕がそんなに綿密に建てられなければならなかったのかと思うかもしれません。それは私たちがイースターの時に見たことと同じです。God's presence isn't safe. 神様の臨在は安全ではないのです。The Bible calls God's presence a consuming fire. 聖書では神の臨在は焼き尽くす火だと言っています。What do you think will happen if、uh, I take this flame? この炎を使います。What will happen if this flame comes in contact with this cup? Kids, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? この炎がこのプラスチックのカップに近づかなったらどうなると思いますか I'm telling you, what's going to happen if that plastic cup. 何が起きますか It's going to disappear. 消える Yeah, it's going to do it slowly, though. What do we call it when things disappear slowly? ゆっ,くりゆ,っくりゆっくり消えるのはどなんて言いましょうかね ?Yes! That's right!This is gonna melt if the fire touches it!Is there a kid who can help me? 炎が、えー、とここについたら、えー、と溶けていきます。じゃあこ、こ Watch this one! She likes fire! <笑>彼女は火が好きです。Okay. So, 気をつけてください。See, do you see the line right there? Yeah? Um, what I need you to do is to very carefully, without spilling, 
こぼさないように入れてください。To the line. Can you do that? Okay, remember there is no spilling. Oh, you're pouring it very well. Do you help your mom cook? Yes, I can tell because you can pour it carefully. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you so much. So now we're going to see what happens when the. Oh, she's got her ears covered. She's getting ready. We're going to see what happens when the flame. Touches the What's going to happen? Look at that. 見て,見てましたか Did you notice what happened? 何が起きたか分かりましたか the part of the cup without the water melted away. 水が入っていなかったところは溶けました。You see that? 見えますか melted right away, but now no one else can see. Okay, you guys see that? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little came out. It's, it's okay though. But notice, look, the part with the water in it was protected. The water was protected. Okay, that's, that's enough. Lindsay, could you grab that? All right. That part with the water in it wasn't harmed at all. This is kind of what the tabernacle does. It protects the people from God's presence. It makes it possible for God to fulfill his promise. Through the tabernacle, God can safely live with his people. And the last verse of Exodus says this. Okay, I need my helpers. Just pull it forward. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day and night, and fire was in the cloud by night, in the sight of all the Israelites during all their travels. Israel I think we're on Machigata. Is it? No, 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 she's okay. Oh, she's okay? This one was wrong. Oh. She's good. Oh, yeah, it is. Israel Zenka no mono wa Tabijini ada aida Hidua Shu no Kumo Ga Makuya no Neni Yorua Kumo no Nakani Well done. In the pattern of salvation, God's presence is the point. In fact, we can say His presence is salvation. In the New Testament, it says this about Jesus. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. You could translate made his dwelling among us as pitched his tent. Tent 
In other words, Jesus was just like the cloud and fire of the tabernacle. つまり、イエス様は幕屋の雲や火のようでした。He was the visible presence of God among his people. 彼は、イエス様は人の中で目に見える神の存在でした。But there's more. でも、それ以上です。Remember the tongues of fire from Pentecost? ペンテコステの火の下を覚えていますか That fire was on every Christian. その火はすべてのクリスチャンの上にありました。The presence of God 神の臨在はすべてのクリスチャンのうちに住まわれているのです。You see, the pattern of salvation remains the same. 救いのパターンは今も同じことがわかります。God's presence is still the point of salvation. 神様の臨在こそが救いのポイントなのです。And this is the message the Holy Spirit empowers us. To proclaim. これこそが聖霊が福音を述べ伝えるための力を私たちに与えるというメッセージなのです。Here's the second truth about God's presence we learn from the tabernacle. 幕屋から学べる神の臨在についての2つ目の真実です。God's presence comes into our lives by invitation. 神の臨在は招きによって私たちのうちにもたらされます。The tabernacle wasn't cheap. 幕屋は安価なものではありませんでした。私のこのテントのようではありませんでした。Gold, それは金、銀、他の高価なもので作られました。So、ですから、神様はモーセにこれらの高価なものを手に入れる方法を教えました。Tell, oh, it's your turn, not mine. I, I almost read for you. Tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You're, you are to receive the offering for me from everyone whose heart prompts them to give. 私の方の産物を捧げるようにイスラエル人に告げようすべて心から進んで捧げる人から私への方の産物を受け取られなければならない。Uh, I just lost the keynote. Notice that God doesn't make a demand here. ここで神様は要求をしていないことに気づいてください。Instead, he wants the people to respond to the moving of their hearts. むしろ彼は、神様は人々の心が動かされる、動かされ応答することを望んでいるのです。Uh, it's very interesting to contrast this with the golden calf. このことを金の子牛と比べるととても興味深いです。Course, もちろんアロンは偶像を作るのに金が必要でした。アロンはこのように金を得ました。それでアロンは彼らに言った。あなた方の爪や息子、娘たちの耳に歩きの。耳輪を外して私のところに持ってきなさい。Thank you. ありがとうございます。Do you see the difference? えっ、ー、と皆さん違いがわかりましたか ？God asks people to give in response to the moving of their hearts. 神様は人々の心が動かされるがままに捧げるようお願いしました
Aaron simply demands their property. アロンは単に人の所有物を要求したのです。By the way, there is a close association between demands for money and false religion. 余談ですが、金の金銭の要求と偽の宗教団体には密接な関係があります。But that's not our focus today. でも今日はそのことには注目していません。I just want you to understand one thing. 私は皆さんに一つのことを理解してほしいのです。God doesn't force His presence on us. 神様は私たちに神様と共にいることを強要することはありません。He invites us to make space for it in our lives as our hearts are moved. 神様は私たちの心が動いたとき、私たちの人生にそのための場所を持つよう招いてくださるのです。You can think of it like the flame of this candle. 皆さんはこの,キャこのろうそくの炎のようだと考えることができます。There we go. Uh, I have a choice to make. 私は選択することができます。I can feed the flame with oxygen. 酸素を入れて、えー、炎をもっと大きくすることができます。Go ahead and give me a blackout. Pretty cool, huh? But go ahead and turn the lights back on. But what if I were to spray whoops, nitrogen on there instead of oxygen? If I can even get the candle to light. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm a Boy Scout. I can light a fire anywhere. Boy Scout だったので何でも火はつけられます。Is there a kid who wants to help me find out what happens if we spray nitrogen on there? これにあのスプレーしたらどうなるかやってみたい子供たち。Come on up. You can help me. Okay, so just very carefully now. Don't hurt yourself. Spray it on there, see what happens. Gotta press the button hard.、Oh. There you go. Of course, it goes out. Thanks, Brevin. The people could either give to build a tabernacle or not. 神の,神の民は幕屋を建てるために捧げるか捧げないかを選ぶことができました。God's presence came to them through an invitation, not a demand. 神様の臨在は要求ではなく招きによって彼らにもたらされました。But Israel responded to God's invitation with enthusiasm. そしてイスラエルは神の招きに喜んで答えました。In chapter 36, Moses had to ask them to stop bringing their offerings. 36章では、モーセは捧げ物を持ってくるのをやめるように人々にお願いしなければなりませんでした。They brought way more than was needed. 人々は必要以上のものを持ってきたのです。Never seen that before, but I, I look forward to it one day. <laughs> Salvation and God's presence. Still comes in this way. 救いと神の臨在というのは今でもこのようになっています。私たちの心が動き、神の招きに応答すると私たちはクリスチャンになるのです。We respond And then we experience God's presence in our lives. 私たちが応答することで神の臨在が私たちのうちに住まわれるのを実感するのです。The power of the Spirit comes in the same way. また、御霊の力も同じように与えられます。We choose to respond to God's offer of empowerment. 私たちは神が与えてくださる力に応答する選択をしました。
This brings us to the final truth the tabernacle teaches us about God's presence. このことは神の臨在について教える最後の真実につながるのです。God's presence comes through obedience and grace. 神の臨在は従順と恵みの両方でもたらされます。We see the grace part in the Sabbath. 恵みの部分を安息日に見ることができます。エクスタクスバウトタバナクルインツーセクションズ。スツエジプトキワマクヤニツイテフタツノブブニワケテカタテイマス。インエクスタスツエジプトキワマクヤニツイテエクシエジプトキ25章から31章では神様は幕屋の建て方を説明しています。God ends these instructions by saying you must observe the Sabbath. 神様はこれらの指示の最後にあなたは安息日を守らなければならないと述べています。Then Exodus 35 through 40 records the actual building of the tabernacle. エジプト記35章から40章にかけては幕屋を実際に建てる様子が記録されています。Saying, そしてそれは安息日を守らなければならないということから始まっているのです。安息日は休息と礼拝の日です。それは贈り物なのです。It's a day to enjoy God's presence. 安息日は神の臨在を楽しむ日なのです。It reminds us of grace. そのことは安息日に神様の恵みに気づきます。The salvation of God's presence is a gift. 神様の臨在における救いは贈り物です。But obedience is also important. しかし従順であることもとても重要です。I need a kid who's going to help me. 誰かお子さんで助けてくれる人。So, someone who hasn't helped yet? All right, come on up! You're the next contestant! Come on! Come on! Come on! All right, okay. So, this is a glass tube. You gotta hold it really carefully. So, stand over here for me. Okay. Right here? Great. So, this tube is full of neon gas. It's not very impressive right now, is it? Is, is that no, it, it's not very impressive right now. But, you know what? If you follow my instructions, You're gonna be impressed. でも私が言う通りに全部やったらきっとびっくりしますよ。So, go ahead and turn the lights out. どうぞ、so、ライト消してください。Right okay. Okay. The only with no、oh. okay. So, that's really pretty, but so what an idea could decide. Don't touch that part. でも、ちょっときれいだけど触らないでくださいね。So, what I want you to do. Is just move that tube really slowly towards there. Maybe we have another volunteer? <laughs> you want to do everything. Okay. You, okay. Let me hold your hand because I'm afraid you're going to be too, too energetic. Okay. So, very slowly, very slowly. Wow. Look at that. Did it hurt? No, it didn't. It didn't hurt. Do you want to try? No. Isn't that amazing? Pretty cool, isn't it? I did. All right, turn the lights back on.
So what made the tube light up? Revan, you know what made it light up? No, no. doesn't know. <laughs> Was it, do you think, the power of the Tesla coil? There's all kinds of power coming off of this thing. Was it that? Or was it obedience to my instructions? The answer is yes. Both obedience and power were required. As they built the tabernacle, 18 times it says Moses obeyed God's instructions. God's presence came by grace as a gift. But it also came in response to obedience. また、それは神様に従順に応答することでももたらされました。That's why when God seems far from us, we often need to repent. なので、神様を遠くに思うとき、多くの場合私たちには悔い改めが必要なのです。We need to ask forgiveness and change our behavior. 私たちは神様に許しを求め、行動を改める必要があります。If you need to repent, I invite you to do so as we sing. This also applies to spirit baptism. God gives his spirit as a gift. But we also are told to seek the gifts of the spirit. それには私たちが御霊の贈り物を求めるよう語られているのです。It's grace, but obedience matters. それは神様からの恵みです。でも神様に従順であることが必要です。As we worship, I want to invite anyone who wants to be baptized in the Spirit to come forward for prayer. これから賛美のうちに聖霊のバプテスマを受けたいと思う方は祈りのために前に来てください。And If anyone is interested in learning more about becoming a Christian, please just let us know. We're going to be standing up front. So if you want to be baptized in the Spirit, come forward for prayer. If you need healing, come forward for prayer. If you need peace, come forward for prayer. Whatever you need from God, We are here today to pray with you. Worship team, please come.